Hi, this is Thomas LaFoe from the Instructional Media Center at the Mississippi State University Libraries, and in this tutorial we'll be looking at a couple of the count functions in Microsoft Excel. This spreadsheet contains a list of sales figures for the month of January, divided up by cities. Across the bottom of this sheet we will insert a count function that will count the number of sales in each column. Here I will scroll to the bottom of this spreadsheet. I'll skip a line and in this next cell I'll type in the word sales and press tab to move to the next column. And here I want to insert my count function. So I'm going to go to formulas, more functions, statistical, and select the count function. In the value 1 box I can insert the range that I want it to look at. So here I'm going to select the sales figures for Starkville and I can see that this is already returning a count of 15. I'm going to click OK. And now that we've inserted this for the first column, I can use my autofill handle and fill across to the I column. And now I have a count function that is counting each of the values in each column. The count function only counts cells that contain numbers. If I wanted to count cells that contained any sort of data, I could use the count A function. Here I've added some information to this sheet that indicates when a transaction took place but no sale occurred. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom and right below sales I'm going to put transactions. I'm going to increase the width of this column a little bit. And in the cell next to transactions I'm going to go to more functions, statistical, and count A. Here in value 1 I want to select my first column and press enter. Now I can use my autofill handle to fill across and now this will count all of the transactions in each column including numbers and text. Another helpful count function is the COUNTIF function. The COUNTIF function can be used to count the number of cells in a range that meets certain criteria. Here I have a list of registrants for a conference. I can use the COUNTIF function to count the number of participants in each group. First, to generate my list of participating groups, I can use the Advanced Filter option. Here I will go to the Data tab, choose Advanced from the Sort and Filter group, and in this dialog, choose to copy this to a new location. For my range, I'm going to select the C column, and I'm going to copy this to cell D1. I'm going to use just the unique records and click OK. I can double click between D and E to widen that column. And now I've created a list of all the unique values from column C. Here I'm going to title this count. And you may notice that some of these are duplicated. This was done through an online registration form, and if someone entered the group name slightly differently, you may see some duplicates. We're going to leave this in, but in the cell next to my first value, I'm going to insert my count if function. I'm going to go to formulas, more functions, statistical, and choose count if. Here for my range, I want it to count everything in the C column. I'm going to use F4 to make sure that's an absolute reference. And for my criteria, I'm going to use the cell right next to my count function. Click OK. And now I can see that it's counting the two entries for four wall entertainment. Now I can use my autofill handle, fill this down, and now this function is counting column C for each of the unique values that I've listed in column D. After you've created this function, you can also go back and fix any discrepancies that you may see. Here with the group Actors Playhouse, I can see that the apostrophe came in slightly differently in these two cells. So I can use my autofill handle to replace that different value, and now I can see that it's updated that count function. I hope this tutorial will help you find uses for the count function in Excel. If you have any questions or suggestions for additional tutorials, please leave them in the comments below or visit our website at library.msstate.edu/imc. Thanks for watching.